What's going on guys, Josh Bogok here. Now, most of you guys already know, in the world of open source AI, there have been some huge advancements recently. Most notably is the DeepSeek version three. And I'll be doing more videos on this channel, covering it and using it in different use cases. Now on this channel, we've covered many different AI coding tools and methods to code with AI. We've covered tools like Llama Coder. We covered other artifacts tools where you can easily create code in a nice little user interface that is similar to something like Claude Artifacts. Now, what if you could use DeepSeek version three with something like Claude Artifacts 100% for free? Well, now you can. DeepSeek Artifacts lets the most powerful open source model in the world create landing pages just for you. It has a very strong React and Tailwind ability, and it's powered 100% for free by Hugging Face. We're going to take a look at it, show you how you can use it. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so everything I cover will be linked down below. Now, if you missed the news about DeepSeek version three, essentially, long story short, it is the most powerful open source model in the world right now. And it has benchmarks that are comparable and rival some of the best closed source models like Claude Sonnet 3.5 and GPT 4.0. And it is really insane how quickly open source is catching up. And I'm excited to see, um, you know, where we actually end up throughout the rest of 2025. Happy New Year, everyone, by the way. Now, if you want to read up on the technical report of DeepSeek version three, I'll leave a link down below. And like I said, I'm going to be doing more videos surrounding this model in different use cases. But let's go ahead and check out DeepSeek artifacts. So I'll leave this linked down below. Now, as you can see here, you don't even have to log in to actually use this, which is pretty nice. Um, responses are saved in the open data set React code instructions. So if we go check that out right here on Hugging Face, we can see React code instructions. This is a data set of Claude Artifact-esque React apps generated by Llama 3.1, 70B. 3.1405B and DeepSeek Chat version 3. So we can see some different examples here, such as a fitness uh, training website, a LinkedIn clone right here, iPhone calculator, uh, Chipotle waitlist, a bunch of different stuff, Apple Store. Now let's go ahead and test this out. Now, before I do, you can also see um, these examples right here a stripe themed hero section generated by uh, Llama 3. 0.1405B Instruct Turbo. We can see an energy drink startup right here. We can see another energy drink startup. We can see another energy drink startup. All right, so I'm going to say generate me a YouTube website clone with dark mode and light mode toggle. Let's go ahead and click enter. And now we are preparing to generate the code. As you can see here, we got an app.tsx right here for TypeScript, and we're importing React right here, and we're using an interface for video and it's generating the code as you can see with different thumbnail uh, dummy pictures right here placeholders we also have an index.html right here and we have an app.css so you can check out the code for each one of these files and on the right hand side you will see that we actually have our app so let's go ahead and try our dark mode here and that is working correctly now if you want to refresh the preview you can click this button here if you want to make the website full version instead of just, you know, um, squish, you can just click this right here to remove the code, toggle the code on or off. And you can also, what I like about this is you can open it in sandbox here. So code sandbox.io, it will actually be able to open up the code here. And as you can see now, we have the code open up. This is, you know, a code sandbox environment, similar to something like you would see in like bolt.new if you're not familiar with this. And we can see our public file right here, our index.html, our app.css, index.tsx, package.json, all that good stuff for our project here. Now, if you wanted to download all this code, you can actually just go up here to download and it will download as a zip right here. You could just go ahead and save this. This will download all the code right here. So if you're going to download it, you're going to have to do it in code sandbox. Now, if we wanted to make some changes, you could actually edit the code right here. So you can actually type in the, uh, you know, code box right here and make those changes in DeepSeek artifacts. You could also obviously make changes here as well in the code sandbox. 
Now, the one thing I don't like about this, um, you know, deep seek artifacts is if we want to actually have the AI model deep seek v3 make changes for us. For example, let's say we wanted to have menu options in this uh, hamburger menu right here, which we currently don't have. I couldn't just say, hey, add, I couldn't just say, hey, add menu options to this hamburger menu because it would generate a completely new um, generation right here. So what you would have to do is you would have to simply copy all this code right here. You would have to say app.tsx equals this. And then you would have to copy the code here. Say index.html equals and then this. And then we don't have any app.css code right now. So I could do this. And then say add menu options to this YouTube clone. Make it way better and cooler. And let's go ahead and click send. All right, so now it should keep the same similar code at least and have those changes that we suggested okay and boom we got our youtube clone right here so it looks almost exactly the same dark mode let's see if we open this up and boom now we got our menu options here so we got home trending subscriptions library history etc now when do i think deep seek artifacts is useful well i mean it could be useful for many different things but let's say you wanted to generate some react components using an open source model like deep seek artifacts for free you could do this in deep seek artifacts fairly easy and then you could import it over into your react app or you could use code sandbox download it whatever the case may be it's very simple now i do think it would be cool if you could just self-host deep seek artifacts so then you could if you wanted to even make some improvements yourself you know fork it do some changes maybe allow it so that the uh, ai can actually make these changes for you without having to copy and paste things back into this um you know box right here but all in all i think this is a nice cool way that you can actually start testing out deep seek version 3 in an artifacts like interface because i know a lot of you guys like that like claude artifacts all right i'm gonna try one other one so generate a twitter clone that is a mix of tiktok 2. all right so here we can see twit talk all right we got our homepage profile um some options down here for search add followers etc you could go ahead and open this in sandbox but other than that guys that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to share with you guys deep seek artifacts so you guys can check it out start testing deep seek version 3 let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys like i said we're going to be doing more videos on deep seek version 3 so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for those videos also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord check it out down below at stridecommunity.com and then check out the stride ai academy where i'm going to be posting behind the scenes exclusive content that you're going to want to see so make sure to check that out once again guys happy new year i hope you guys had great holidays i've been super busy these last couple of weeks onboarding a bunch of new clients had a bunch of new projects but i've also been preparing a lot of new content for you guys so i'm excited to share that with you guys very very soon so i got a lot of value on the way so make sure to be ready for that i will be uploading consistently all through 2025 so i'm excited to grow with you guys and build a really cool community here other than that guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys and always keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.